What's going on, people? Wanna do a update on the tank? Haven't done an update in about a week on the tank, so just want to show everyone what's happening, which really isn't much, and that's kind of why I haven't done an update. I mean, the plants are growing, uh, which is cool. So uh, let's take a look here. The uh, Nubis is actually putting on some uh, good growth. You can see right there, it's a new leaf. And then if you look over here to this one, I uh, just seen the new leaf last night. Well, I think it's actually, well, I don't know. I know there's a new leaf on there, just uh, can't remember which one. It might actually be that one sticking right up there. It's already uh, opened up, that one. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, so they're putting on new growth. Um, the El Nino fern still isn't uh, doing much. I mean, there's a little bit of new growth, but not too much. The... Uh, Java fern over here that's a new leaf um, and then this is kind of crazy when I first bought this plant it just had like one little leaf sticking off of another end of another leaf and that has created all that you see up there and those roots probably need to plant that but uh, as you can see in the back that narrowly sword is doing very well starting to put on a lot of growth which is cool this uh lace leaf fern it's got a few new leaves up here not too much so uh, I don't know about it but it's cool uh, I like how it looks and see uh, see the other narrow leaf uh, sword I think I called that one back there a fern before but that that's also a narrow leaf sword um, it's putting on some new leaves actually some of them are starting to come into the front the uh, Christmas moss over here has a little bit of new growth this up here has even more Um, the dwarf sedge is again putting on new growth. It's still elongated. I read that uh, some plants, when uh, given too much red spectrum, will actually have a elongated narrow leaves. So maybe that's contributing to that. There's the tiger lotus lily. The leaves are getting bigger with every one. Uh, you can see the crypt. Let's put on a few new leaves. The wisteria in the back is putting on a lot of new growth. You can see all the new leaves on that. That's all new growth. And then the, the narrow leaf sword. It's put on uh, one or two new leaves. Let's get back here. That's a new leaf on it. Let's try and get a better shot at Wisteria. But it's pretty cool. But all the fish seem to be doing good. Uh, all healthy. It's uh, pretty cool. They're getting used to feeding time. So they'll all get over here on this side of the tank and they're uh, they're ready for their food when it's feeding time. But uh, one thing I also wanted to show in this video, and uh, typically when I go to the fish store, I know what I'm going in for. And if I buy any extra stuff, it's usually maybe a snail or shrimp, something that's not really a big deal. But if I'm going in for a fish, I know what fish it's going to be. Well, um, went to the fish store today. Wanted to get a couple more near it snails. So I got those. 
Well, while I was there, I did the thing I usually don't do. And I bought, I know you can't see them very good in that bag, but I bought a pair of Killies. I've been doing some research on them, had been thinking about getting some, and the local fish store today had some in. Those are called, let me grab the paper here, I'll probably still murder the name. Those are called Rachulioves Killies. So we'll see how they do. I'm going to put them in here uh, since they're little guys. Don't want the big tanks uh, fish to be messing with them. And I can monitor them a little bit better in here. But uh, I'm going to get those set up. I'm not going to do like I typically do in quarantine those. Um, just not quite sure. I've seen some people say they're not that hardy. Uh, they can stress out really easy. So just going to try to put them straight in the tank. Hopefully it doesn't hurt. But uh, that's what I've got. I will give an update as they get into the tank. They, uh, they have really good color. Or they did in the pet store. Um, but right now they're, you know, they're scared, so the colors kind of went away, but I'll do an update later to show you the color. So, talk to you later. Okay, want to do a follow-up. Here's the, uh, the Killy fish that I bought. That's the male. Uh, like I said, it's like, um, ro Rovatoli or something like that. Uh, I'll put it in the description, but there's the male. And I just probably threw him in the tank like five minutes ago, and he's already started really coloring up right there. Should stop moving for a second. That's the female. She just, you know, more plain, which most females are in the wild. But, yeah. So there's the pair. Um, like I said, <laughs> really didn't plan on buying these. Just more of a, a you know, just a whim of the moment. But uh, there he is. So uh, we'll see how they do. Pretty cool. Like I said, I think show might get a little bit more color. Probably not too much. But. He's more of the show guy. So. Puts most freshwater fish this color to shame. But, uh. There they are. So. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Later.